How's it going guys? We finally got the update to the King Black Dragon here today and which is an update which has been long awaited because it's been 10 years I think since the release of the King Black Dragon I think it's am I right in saying that it's had one graphical update? Uh, that's as far as I'm aware I mean I've I've not actually been there a huge amount myself because I know it's not great loot and it's not great XP or anything it's just a bit too easy but I mean it, it's finally had its update which is worthwhile uh, a few noteworthy updates, it's now a lot easier to get there. You can now get there by pulling a lever in Edgeville Monastery, which sort of kills the old way of walking all the way through the lava maze. But there's now a, a bonus if you do go through the lava maze of 10%, but I mean, is that 10% really worthwhile to go all the way through the wilderness, risking getting PK'd and everything? But and also, I'm, I'm thinking, is that not a bit flawed? Could you easily just like teleport from Edgeville, walk out, and then walk back in again? I, don't know how it works. I mean, maybe if you try and walk out, it just takes you straight back to Edgeville again. But, you know, it'd be interesting to see. Also, there's been a couple of new items, which are the Dragon Rider gloves and Dragon Rider boots, which are supposedly the best in game for prayer bonuses, which is. That's something new, I suppose, because obviously they'll have massive prices to start with. And people that are doing things like uh, the fight caves or uh, the fight kiln that need a high prayer bonus might find that worthwhile, though personally, I'd rather stick to like my glaive and boots. Or my um, what is it for? Is it rage fire for mage? But yeah, that I'd rather use those to be honest. I don't know about gloves. Probably a lot of people would rather use gloves with swift or whatever the mage equipment is. And there's also um two cosmetic upgrade kits, which is something a bit different as well, because well even though there's been a lot of them in game at the moment, but they are for the, the dragon kites here, which is something that doesn't actually have any current on like ornamental kits or anything that you can put onto it. And there's more, gives them more warlike appearance, which is quite cool. The only problem I have with this is there's a lot of cosmetic releases lately, and I like to be able to just sort of look at stuff and be able to instantly identify what it is. And it's getting to the point now where it's a lot harder to identify stuff because of all this crap from Solomon. Now onto the second part. There's been dungeon updates for all of the all of the dun well four of these dungeons actually: Brimhaven, Chaos Tunnels, and from Slayer Dungeon, which are all dungeons that. Well, actually, to be honest, I never really go to the Fremix Slayer dungeon, but the other ones I do actually go to on quite a frequent basis, and not going to lie, they're quite old. But, I mean, I'll be going into game in a minute, and I'll be showing you guys what they actually look like in game now. I'll go, try and go through all of them. I'll start with Tavoli, because that's where I left my player when I saw that the update was on screen. So, we'll be seeing that in a bit. And uh, that should be quite interesting. Now, one final thing. I always like to look at it in other news bit, because it quite often contains, like, interesting bug fixes and whatnot. But now they're all just Yelp, Squeal of Fortune, and Solomon's General Store crap. And no one gives a shit. No one buys rune coins, really. I mean, I'm sure there are a few rich people that do, just because they think it makes them look better. But, I mean, Solomon's General Store, in general, I think's fine. Besides maybe the bank boosters. But the Squeal of Fortune, that just pisses me off no end. But, I mean, everyone, everyone hates that, let's be honest. Even if more Mark thinks... Well, and mod MMG seems to be under the opinion that everyone loves the Squeal of Fortune but I think they're mistaken that with use the Squeal of Fortune but but you know as always that's going to be there so let's get on into game right here we are guys we're uh, at the Tavoli dungeon now something that I noticed quite a while ago is that Tavoli dungeon updated this little graphics around here like you've got all these blue bricks and everything and then you've walked down and every and it'll be mud at the bottom <laughs> so it didn't all match up really so let, let's go down and have a look what it looks like. It should be quite interesting. Whoa, that is different. I was not <laughs> expecting that. I was expecting it to stay a little bit sort of all, all muddy and like it was. You can tell it's all one graphic team though, can't you? With all these bricks, they're all really similar. But damn, this is nice. I got luxe it. <laughs> this, this is a nice change. I like this. Let's run along a bit and see what it's like. Are they keeping the traps in? Oh, they've changed the look of that trap as well. I bet you now I'm, I'm doing this, I'm going to fail it. Yep. Yep. There we go. So, this is... I like this, actually. This is good. This is a nice change. I like this sort of cobwebby effect. That, this works well, actually. I'm going to go have a look around and see what... The part that's from... Um, what's the... Dru Druidic Ritual, I believe it is. The little cauldron in here. Whoa, it's on like a plinth now. This is, I, I'm, I'm going to admit, I really like Tavoli. Tavoli's definitely a successful one for now. So, yeah, this looks pretty good. Right, now let's head over to 
Let's head over to the Chaos Tunnels next, because that's a place I go quite often, because I'm actually one of the people that slay bought, because I find it quite interesting. So let's head over there. Just before we get on into the Chaos Tunnels, this is something I've noticed right here, just as I was coming to Edgeville, I noticed this artifact right here, which I assume is the artifact that teleports you to the King Black Dragon. But I mean, maybe maybe we try that out at a later date, but that looks like it is the, the, the teleport that will take you to the King Black Dragon, even though I thought they were saying it was in the monastery. But anyway, let's get back to exploring the Chaos Tunnels. Right, something to note straight away here is that they haven't actually changed the entrance. Um, is I think the graphics might have changed a little bit, but I mean, it doesn't seem to be immensely different. But let's climb down. I can't enter. Oh. I've never got that about the wilderness that they always attack you regardless of what your combat level is. Right, let's head down then. Come on, there we go. Whoa, that is. That reminds me of the Tazar. This looks very similar to the Tazar actually. Look at the teleporters. The teleporters are completely different. Well, that, that I was not expecting. I've got mummies here. I'm gonna get owned by the mummies now. If it wasn't, whoa! Did you see the animation? That was kind of cool. The animation for that. Now, one area that I've heard actually looks pretty impressive is gargoyles. So we're gonna head out to the gargoyles and see what they look like. This is all. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm enjoying these dungeon updates. They actually look pretty. I'm gonna die this way. <laughs> I probably should have thought this through. I, I didn't bring any food or anything. My defense level is not sufficient. This is... It's about time this received an update. I'm actually going to really quickly turn on Bloom. Because I haven't got Bloom on most of the time. Because it seems to... It's just that one last little level of um, graphics that my computer seems to hate. It's not actually made a massive difference. But still, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, right, let's, let's really quickly head to the Black Dragons. Because that's one place that a lot of people will go. Dust Devils. Will the Dragon Devils change the graphics of the Dust Devils? No, they haven't. <laughs> the area they're in there looks a little better though. Like lava coming through the walls and everything. How old were the Chaos Tunnels? Have they released, um... I remember doing the quest, but I can't remember. This is all pretty much... Right, let's, uh, here's, a, here's a test for Jagex. Let's see if they've actually changed the graphics of the mysterious tunnel. No, they haven't, so that's definitely in sync. <laughs> oh, well. Right, guys, let's, let's head on to the next dungeon. Let's go to Brimhaven Dungeon next. Right, here we are at Brimhaven Dungeon. And one thing I've noticed is that the outside seems to be identical to what it was before. It would have been nice if they'd actually changed the outside entrance, but it doesn't look like they've done that on any of them. But one thing that is driving me crazy is that on DirectX, it always seems to be a black line around the outside of, of symbols on the minimap. Anyway, let, let's get on into the dungeon. Oh, that is... I swear this is this must have completely remodeled the whole thing good because I swear it's like a big set of stairs coming down to start with. Look at that, that is cool, I like that. They're finally making it so that it actually looks dangerous now, aren't they? These are gonna attack me because I'm not one two seven. This is this is good. They're really actually making graphics look impressive. I mean obviously you can see they're using the same style in all of them. But I mean I give them some credit, they probably just have one design team that does it all. Saves on pixels, isn't it? But this is this all looks really nice. The, sort of, the, whole, the only thing is it's ruined my fire cape. My fire cape looks now green. Oh my days, this wild dog's driving me crazy. But I mean, this looks nice, isn't it? The, has the minimap been changed? I can't tell if they've actually changed the minimap to match with it. They definitely had on the first bit, but I'm not sure if they have it, but... This is, I just love the new lava animations. It is like you get into Zard, but it's it's good, isn't it? But yeah, this has definitely been a worthwhile update. Right now, finally, we're going to go to um, what's the last dungeon? Actually, I forgot what the name of the last dungeon is. But I mean, I'll just quickly chat out for you. What the last dungeon is? The from Nick's Lair dungeon, of course. Right, we can get there by fairy, fairy, fairy ring, so we'll be there in a second. So here we are at the from Nick from Nick's Lair dungeon, the last of the updates that they've done, and let's walk in and see what it looks like. Whoa. Doesn't it give the impression that it's a lot taller now? Was all this woodwork here before? That is nice, that little um rev sun out. This is where I wish you could like rotate and see where that's actually coming from, but that looks pretty cool. So we've got all our creatures and everything. This they they've definitely done a, they've actually started doing decent updates recently. Is that a yeah, there's a something obelisk. Nope. Challenge, there you go, that's a 324 coins, 1,024 coins. But this is this is an impressive looking update. 
I, I gotta admit, I do want to try out the the King Black Dragon. W one thing they do need to do, they need to make the King Black Dragon uh, and all bosses actually. They need to make them instanced because at the moment, if you want to do any form of boss, you you play the risk of getting crashed, which I think is something that you shouldn't have to deal with because well, let's let's take WoW for example. If you're doing a dungeon or whatever, there's there's a portal, and if you're in a party, you go into the portal, and then you're all are in like so the separate instance, so you're all in there together, and no one else can come into that, unless obviously they're in your party, and that works really well because it means you don't have the issue of crashes, and um, also makes it lag less because there's not any other players around. It's just literally you five. So that's what, so maybe they should take that into consideration. It's always quite a good idea. But anyway, guys, I hope I hope you enjoyed this update. I mean, I'm definitely I definitely like it a lot. Although I do wish they'd release some um, like actual content-based things that weren't the Squill of Fortune and Solomon instead of just graphical updates. I mean, obviously these new um, these new drops are going to have a horrific price to start with. So they're probably going to start off with a I don't know, probably like 30 mil street value, but we'll see.